There's 104 days of summer vacation and school comes along just, just to end, end it. it. So the annual problem for our generation is finding a good way to spend it. Like me. Well, I mean, there's not really 104 days, at least not anymore, maybe back then, but we're not that lucky anymore. However, I do want to take a page out of Phineas and Ferb's book and do something really special this summer. And so, since this is a martial arts page and I am a martial artist, I decided it's time to teach you guys how to be a kicker throughout the summer. So if you follow these, I think there's 14 videos scheduled um, every week throughout the summer, or if you wanna see them all at once, you can become a member and see them all at once. Either way, if you follow all these videos by the end of it, as long as you practice, you'll be able to do all kinds of kicks by the end of the summer. But again, I gotta stress, you, you really need, you really need to practice. So if you like that idea and you think this is gonna be pretty cool, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss the next video. Again, they're posting literally every week, so the next one will should be in seven days. What's up guys, it's the old Ninja Warriors Aviators and a superhero hat and welcome to the Modern Ninja. Now today we're going over front kicks. Front kicks are the base of all kicks, uh, or at least the, it's the first kick that pretty much anyone ever learns when they're starting to kick. If you've ever seen like th the movie 300, the Sparta kick counts and there's the also snapping front kick for flashy or one that also counts as front kicks because they're kicking in front of you. I know, it's crazy. <laughs> but what we're going to do is I'm gonna teach you both of them and then teach you some additions and modifications that you could do with them. However, we're gonna start with your feet. You actually wanna make sure you're standing in a good guard or fight stance. We're gonna call it a guard stance right now. Hopefully the uh, wind isn't too bad, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your feet standing nice and wide, and just like me, not super wide into the splits, but wide enough so that you're comfortable and balanced, and then stepping one foot forward, one foot back, and having a good wide base. And that'll give you the balance that you need to perform these kicks. Now going into the pushing front kick or the Sparta front kick. This one is going to be characterized by being able to get distance away from your opponent and keeping them at bay. This goes straight out to build distance and stop someone from coming in. So what we're going to do first, we're gonna take our back leg, we're gonna lift it up just like so, showing the bottom of our foot towards our striking target. And we're gonna push straight out and pull it straight back just like that. But to get a little extra detailed as we do this, we actually wanna push our hips forward when we do our kick. That way we get a little extra power and a little extra range on our kick. All the way through, again, lifting it up, putting the bottom of our foot towards our target, pushing out, pulling back, and setting it down. That way you can always do another kick if needed. And so at full speed, your kick will look something like that. And of course, you can do any of these kicks with the front leg as well. I'm just using the back leg because it's a little bit easier for beginners and I'm assuming most of the people that are gonna be interested in at least this video is gonna be a beginner. Now, we're going into our snapping front kick. For our snapping front kick, we wanna point our knee up and our toes down for this target because we're aiming either at the bottom of the chin or the groin area. Those are gonna be our main striking targets to hit up or underneath just like that. So when we point our knee, we wanna point our knee at our desired target, whether that's at our target's head or at our target's groin. Either way, you just gotta point at that target. As you kick, you're gonna to wanna to hit with the top of your foot. There is a world where in some more advanced kicking courses, they'll teach you to still kick with the bottom or ball of your foot, but I'm not gonna do that because it's a little bit harder and I don't want you to risk breaking your toes for not doing it correctly. So this is gonna be the performance um, version of the kick based on performance and forms and things like that. Not so much um, breaking boards or breaking bricks or anything like that. So again, we take our back leg, we point our knee towards our target, extend our leg out, pull it back, and set it down again. Now for this one, I actually wanted to sprinkle in some jumps just to make it a little bit better. We're gonna get some, uh, some terminology out of the way as well. We're gonna have our skipping front kick and our jumping front kick, which are two different things. A skipping front kick means we lift up one leg, we switch, and then we'll do our kick. For right now, we're just gonna do a, uh, a skipping front kick with our front leg doing the snapping 
uh, front kick going with our toes pointed. So again, taking our back leg, lifting our knee up, switching, and then firing that kick all the way through. It'll look just like that. And going in this direction so you can see it from a couple different angles. There you go. So that's our skipping, but what about our true pop front kick or our jumping front kick? Uh, those words are interchangeable because what the goal is, is not just skipping from one foot to the other. You're actually jumping both feet off the ground all at once. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take our front foot, we're gonna step just a little bit to get some momentum into our motion, step, we're gonna stick our back foot step together and we're gonna use our hands to jump up in the air. Just that's what we wanna practice at first. One, two, three. One, two, three. And that's what gets us in the air. Once we get in the air, our front leg or whatever leg we wanna kick with shoots up and out for our kick just like this. And I love keeping our hands up so that we can get a nice habit of keeping our head safe at all times. One more time, breaking it down. Step one, step together, jump and kick. And if you really wanted to, you could add the hand down just for a little bit extra play. But that's our front kick. And if you wanna see what we're doing next, make sure to stick around. Again, hit the bell so you don't miss the next post. But even if you don't hit the bell, just check back in seven days because we're doing this all summer. Let's. Let's have some fun with it. I also wanted to make sure everyone knew that if you throughout this series ended up wanting me to actually teach you, yes, you specifically, I do offer online Zoom classes for anyone that's interested. Just shoot me a message, let me know uh, via Instagram or TikTok or, you know, shoot a comment down below in a way that I can reach out to you so that we can schedule any classes. But until next time, my name's DJ Moore. This is The Modern Ninja. And I'm out. Be the modern ninja, but lift off. Just know I'm dangerous. I'm on that Bruce Lee, flow like water, state of mind Got me going farther than I ever thought I could have been Gotta grab a sheet of paper as you know I got the pin Anybody want to smoke your whole career be looking grim Out here flashing chains while your boy been in the gym Watch me spitting flames while the frogs try to